CBS News contributor Michio Kaku is a physics professor at the City University of New York. Professor, good morning. Morning. So is there any indication that a bigger quake may be coming in that region? Well, if you are California dreaming, this is a wake-up call if you want to move to California. A triple whammy, three earthquakes in just one week. And what's most dangerous is the fact that it was along a new earthquake fault that we didn't even know existed till 15 years ago. The Puente Hills Thrust Fault, which goes right underneath downtown Los Angeles all the way to Hollywood. A major earthquake there, and we don't know when it's going to take place could cause $250 billion in property damage. That's a quarter of a trillion dollars in damages, according to the U.S. government. So this is a cause of concern, though we cannot yet predict when the big one is going to happen. So, so, you know, when you talk to people in California, they say, we know, we know, we're not worried, we're not worried. To follow up on Charlie's question, how worried should they really be? And what do you tell your students? Well, you know, I grew up in California, so I'm used to having little small little tremors, but I also grew up in the shadow of the big one. And I tell my students in class that in their lifetime, they may see the big one. There's a 46% chance that within the next 30 years, there will be a 7.5 magnitude earthquake or bigger. The big one, 46% chance in 30 years. And how effective and accurate is our detention capability to know when the next big one is coming? Well, earthquake prediction is a cross between black magic and voodoo. Yeah. However, <laughs> that good. <laughs> <laughs> however, we can get an early warning system that will give you maybe 40, 50 seconds of warning. Japan has one, for example, and the people of California have to decide whether or not to spend the money to get that warning. What, what but, 40 to 50 seconds do? Well, if we were to have 40 50 seconds right now yeah. right now right here we could run out the We'd door run, yes. uh, trains oh, could see. could stop conductors could stop surgeons could stop an operation uh, we elevators could, could stop you could get off the elevator you would save some lives but you're not going to save everybody but it's better than nothing and that's all that's as best as we can do right now let me talk about climate change uh, there's a report from the UN panels warning on climate risk worst is yet to come this has to be taken seriously because in 2007, they simply said it's coming, it's coming. This report says it's here. Take a look at the thinning of the ice caps, the rising of sea level, the acidification of the oceans, the bleaching of the coral reefs, Hurricane Sandy. We're looking at bizarre weather patterns. Now, you can't say that any one particular thing is a smoking gun for global warming, but collectively, 100-year storms, 100-year floods, 100-year droughts, 100-year forest fires, I mean, something is very dangerously happening with the weather. And to those climate change deniers? Uh, well, they realize that something is happening with the weather. They admit that now. However, they disagree about human activity. They say perhaps it's part of a natural cycle. But no one disagrees that the polar ice is thinning and that sea levels are rising. You can measure these things. The Earth is heating up. And meanwhile, the nations of the Earth, 100 nations signed on to this report. All right. Mm -hmm. Prof Professor Michio Kaku, thank you so much. Good to see you.